Radio failure. A total loss of radio communication equipment is an unlikely event. More usual would be a human error or problem with either the receiver or transmitter. Rarely do they both fail simultaneously. As with most things, it's best to examine the simple solutions first. On calling a unit and receiving no reply, before assuming the worst, some easy things to check are Is the volume set at a satisfactory level? Is the squelch control adjusted properly? Make sure during your training that your instructor shows you how to operate the squelch facility, as this is often the cause of missed transmissions. Have you selected the correct frequency, not something similar but not quite right? Is the station you're calling actually open? Maybe try another frequency. If it is a pre-flight check, could a hangar or another airfield feature be blocking your transmission? If airborne, could you be too low? Remember, VHF is line of sight only. Are the headset jack plugs fully inserted? Is the headset itself or press to transmit button faulty? Perhaps try a hand mic or emergency PTT if available. Let's first see what procedures we can adopt if the receiver fails. On experiencing difficulties, maybe we have transmitted and received no reply, we could check to see if you can hear background noise using the squelch control or continuous broadcast such as an ATIS or Volmat transmission. We could change our headset, try the hand mic or emergency PTT. If all this is to no avail, you can suspect receiver failure. As stated previously, it is unusual for both the transmitter and receiver to fail at the same time, so we should assume that the transmitter is still working. In this case, you should transmit blind, sending your message twice. Here's a pilot joining at Duxford making blind transmissions. Duxford information, Golf Bravo Uniform Golf Alpha, transmitting blind, 122.075, due to receiver failure. Field in sight, joining downwind, left hand, runway 24. I say again, Duxford information, Golf Bravo Uniform Golf Alpha, transmitting blind, 122.075, due to receiver failure. Field in sight, joining downwind, left hand, runway 24. Duxford information, Golf Bravo, Uniform Golf Alpha, transmitting blind, downwind, runway 24. I say again, Duxford information, Golf Bravo, Uniform Golf Alpha, transmitting blind, downwind, runway 24. Duxford information, Golf Bravo, Uniform Golf Alpha, transmitting blind, final, runway 24. I say again, Duxford information, Golf Bravo Uniform Golf Alpha, transmitting blind, final, runway 24. The Air Traffic Control Officer or Aerodrome Flight Information Service Officer will either advise other traffic to hold off or simply of your intentions. Keep a very good lookout as you will not be able to hear the position of other aircraft and so your situational awareness will be reduced. If, on the other hand, you suspect transmitter failure, Continue to listen out on the designated frequency. ATC may be able to use your carrier wave transmissions to communicate using the speechless code. Controllers may discern whether you can hear them by asking you to turn and seeing the blip representing your aircraft on the radar display turn. Or operate the transponder SPI feature and seeing the ident on the radar screen. The SPI feature is more commonly referred to as the IDENT button. The speechless code is a little like Airborne 20 questions. The controller will ask you questions to which you can only reply yes or no. Actually, you do have a few more options, but in essence, you key the press to transmit switch a certain number of times to reply as follows. One short for yes or acknowledgement. Too short for no. Three short clicks for say again. And four short clicks is a request for homing to the aerodrome. One long click 
means your manoeuvre is complete and you're now steady on heading. One long, two short, one long, the letter X in Morse code, means my aircraft has developed another emergency. We'll now listen to an example of the speechless code being used. Station calling Cambridge Approach is carrier wave only. Adopt the call sign speechless one. Are you inbound to Cambridge? Speechless one, are you arriving from the north? Speechless one, are you inbound from the east? Speechless one, Roger, expect straight in approach runway two, three. Transmit four times when you have the airfield in sight. Speechless one, cleared to land runway two three, surface wind two five zero one two knots.